I grew up just outside of Chicago, so I went to a Catholic high school, which was an absolutely terrific school, and that's where I, my love of, of sciences and math um, was, was uh, fostered. Um, but my father retired and moved south to Texas, and so I finished my last year of high school in a little place in McAllen, Texas that I'd never heard of before. Um, I'm the oldest of six, and I'm a girl from a Hispanic background, so I was allowed to go to the local high, to the local college for school. So it's a small school. It was called Pan American University. Now it's actually part of the UT system, but at the time it was kind of the local college where the the kids from that area went. Even though it wasn't necessarily the best educational opportunity, I did take advantage of, of what the school had to offer. Um, after college, I spent one year at Oak Ridge National Labs in their graduate program, but it wasn't the right fit for me. So I left graduate school after a year and went to the Max Planck Institute for Biochemistry in Munich, Germany. Actually, it's in Martin Street. It's this little town outside of Munich. And the person who offered me a job is someone that I had met at the NIH in their summer program. And he was on sabbatical at the NIH. Um, and he moved back to his lab. And he needed, he needed more people in the lab that knew how to do molecular biology, which was, that, which was what I had learned. And so I've always wanted to travel, never had the monies to travel. And so I said, well, how can I pass this up? So I actually spent two years in Germany, uh, learned a little bit of German, um, had a ball. Um, none, I had, there were two, after a while, and you get to meet people and you have friends, there were two rules. Nobody could go to another country without inviting me to go along <laughs> on a trip. And the other rule was nobody could go to the mountains um, climbing, hiking, without inviting me because I didn't have a car and I just fell in love with the Alps. So it was just a great opportunity for me not just to do something else I liked, which was to travel, to meet new people. But, but to do my science as well. And so I had a research project. Even though I was a technician, I guess because I was a, an American and my English was good, you know, I was treated more like, um, like a student or a postdoc and had my own project, published my own paper. Um, and then the person I worked for, um, he really, really said, you know, you need to go back to school. I said, I don't want to go back to school. I just want to do science. No, 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 you have to go back to school. And so at the end of two years, I was accepted to Rutgers which is where, um, in New Jersey, which is where I finished my degree in three years and three months. And after that, I did a, a postdoctoral fellowship at Princeton University. Um, Princeton's just down the street. By that time, I'd met my husband. I'd gotten married, and he was at Rutgers, and so I had to stay in the New York, New Jersey area. So, and Princeton was just the perfect place for me.